welcome to another booktube video from me, Lauren, from Lauren and the Books. I'm standing up. I can move about as I please. Today I'm doing something that, this is the third time I've done this on my video, on my channel, and it is a hauling out, which I believe people call an unhauling, of books on my shelves that I know I'm not going to read. Um, my bookshelves are getting a bit sort of, actually, that don't look too bad, but I am like having to double pile things and there's a few books on here that I know I'm never going to read. So I'm using this as an opportunity to wheedle out the books that I'm never going to read. I'm going to show them to you, then get this. I live quite near the beach. And I'm going to go down the beach and I'm going to leave some books in little places down the beach with a little note on the front saying, I don't want this book, but if you, if you want it or if you think you know someone that wants it, please take it. And then hopefully those books will go to people who are walking down the beach and having a lovely time. They will get to take a free book home with them. That's what I'm going to do. I've sort of inspired by this <laughs> Emma Watson. <laughs> you know Hermione Granger she runs her own book club um called I can't remember what it's called it's called our shared shelf um and I've seen her leaving books around cities and stuff and I always thought that would be so lovely just to to distribute the bookish joy and that's what I'm going to do today so yeah I'm going to pick 10 books off of these shelves um that I am getting rid of and then I am going to put little labels on the front of them if I've read the book um I'll put a little bit about what the book's about etc etc um and then and then place them down the beach I may well even bring you with, along with me to place them down the beach. I hope they get picked up. If they don't, what, what I'll do, I'll go down there now and drop them off. And if they're not picked up by the end of the day, I'll go down there by the end of the day and pick them up um, and then probably take them to a charity shop or something because um, I don't want to litter. That's sensible, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's a sensible idea. And then actually we'll be able to see which ones have been picked up and which ones haven't been picked up. So, Two trips down the beach, so I better crack on. Ten books I've got to find. Now, I already know one that I'm definitely getting rid of. And this isn't a bad reason. But this is Ponty, um, the hardback edition. I have the paperback edition, and I've already started reading it. Um, so I'm going to hang on to the paperback edition um, and get rid of this. Now, I've quite enjoyed, the, I've, I've been enjoying it so far. I've mentioned it quite a few times, and I, I did the first, uh, read the first chapter tag of this book. And I also um, did... Uh, yeah, it's mentioned in my uh, books that I DNF'd this year, but I do think I'm going to pick it back up again. Uh, it's, yeah, I've, I've, that's the book that I'm going to get rid of. I feel like I don't really need to give you examples of what the books are about. Um, I just want reasons to get rid of and the reason I'm getting rid of it is because I already own a copy of it. So that's number one. That's easy. Number two is also easy because I had earmarked this to go, and that is Raw by Cecilia Ahern. Um, and I have uh, read this, and I don't think I will reread it, so that's why I'm quite, uh, I'm quite happy to get rid of it. Um, this is a 30 short stories ooh, a, um, about women. Uh, and yeah, I've, I've read it. I've read it. By, I read it off my own back uh, a couple of uh, last year, maybe. And then we read it for book club this year. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy to get rid of that as well because I've read it. Another one I'm going to get rid of. This is really fast because as I've been putting books on my shelves, I've been thinking, well, maybe I'll get rid of that in the next one. So there's not much deliberation going on this time. This is a book I'm getting rid of because I mentioned it um, in the biggest books that I own video. This is quite a big book. It's uh, a 300, uh, sorry, 534 pages. Um, and quite a lot of people said to me that it's very of its time, which is the 90s, and quite misogynistic. So I was like, well, I will put myself through that. Why would I? I'd get angry. Um, so that can go. And hopefully someone misogynistic down the beach will want to read it because they can pick that up. So that's three books. Right, keep going, Lauren, keep going. This, those were three that I don't, oh no, there was another one as well that I definitely wanted to get rid of. Yes, Tentacle. Um, I DNF this earlier this year. This is a um, translated fiction about um, climate change. I, I, I just did not know what was going on in this book um, and I don't think I'll pick it up again. So that's number four. Still need to find six. Let's crack on. Right, I've got two more and a potential, but I need to check with David about this one. David, come here. Oh, he's got his Toy Story t-shirt on. Yeah. Come on in. And his hat. I'm getting rid of books off my shelves. We're going to take them down the beach later. We've got to do two trips to the beach today. That's nice. It's a nice beach. I'm thinking of getting rid of this. I'm never going to read it. Is this something I bought you? No. It's a Tom Hanks. It's t actual Tom Hanks. Yeah. It's a short story collection called Uncommon Type. Now, I know you're a big fan of Tom Hanks. Do you think yeah. you'd read this? No. We can get rid of that then. I just don't think I'm ever going to read it. I'm not a big short story fan anyway. He's bending down so he can fit in. I'm not a big short story fan anyway. Um, and I know that this can go to a better to a better place. That's all I needed you for. You're off to get cornbags now. 
kissing. Kissing on the camera. Uh, the other two I've got are, this is a proof copy I picked up at um, the, I think it was the headline event at the beginning of, no, it was at the end of last year because it was about books that were out in this year. Um, and I just I? don't, yeah, what do you want? Let's get a bag. Oh, he's getting a bag. <laughs> It was very busy across here, isn't it? Very busy here this morning. He's going to get, we just watched a video about the new vegan KFC menu, which looks amazing. We checked, the nearest one to us is in London. <laughs> so I'm driving there. Um, so no, he's not driving there. So I've told him to go and get corn chicken burgers from, um, from the supermarket and um, he's got, we're gonna create Bye. a KFC. Um, yeah, David, get like, a, like get an iceberg lettuce because I want like lowbrow stuff in there. Oh, it's gonna be delicious. Yeah, a brioche bun. Brioche bun. Well, I wouldn't mind a cheaper bun. A what bun? Well, a cheaper bun because I want it to taste a bit like KFC mm. used to for me. All right. Okay, anyway, so yeah, I'm going to get rid of this, which is The Six Loves of Billy Bins. Uh, this is a novel written by Richard Lumsden. I, it's been sitting on my shelves. I, literally, my eyes glance over it every time. I don't know what it's about or anything. It's just not not appealing to me. So that's going to go as well. And then I also got sent this earlier this year. This is a book called Open Up, The Power of Talking About Money by Alex Holder. And yeah, I just don't, I just don't feel like this is valuable to me and might be valuable to somebody else. So that, that's the reason I'm getting rid of that. Two, four, six, seven. I need three more. I'm going to get back onto it. So I've got my last three. Uh, the last three. So I'll start with this one. It's because I've got two copies of this as well. This is uh, Night Shift by Debbie Gliori. This is a picture book about depression. Um, and I have two copies of it. Now I've got this big floppy copy. Floppy copy. And I've got this lovely little hardback copy. I think I'm going to keep the little hardback copy for myself. So that is a picture book um, about depression that is going. And definitely... Someone will find that valuable. Uh, and then the next one is one that I'm just never going to read. I got sent the proof copy of this, um, and I imagine a lot of people would love this very much, but I just, it's been on my shelf for ages and ages, and I'm never going to read it. Um, and that's Melmoth by Sarah Perry because I'm too frightened, <laughs> because I think it's just going to be too scary for me, um, and I won't be able to handle it. So that's going to go as well. And then the last book is a book my sister bought me, Soz Charlotte. Um, but this is The Little Book of Veganism by Eleanor Clark. Now, this is the type of book that I have read this, and I found it very valuable at the time, but um, it's, it's it's not a book that I will revisit. Um, so yeah, I'm going to um, to gift this to somebody. Uh, well, I'm going to stick it down a beach and hope that somebody who is uh, considering veganism or is a vegan will get more out of this. So those are two, four, six, eight, ten books. Actually, not as painful as last time because I think I had a bit of an idea of ones that I was getting rid of and I've actually been able to get rid of a few doubles of them. Now I've got to write little notes to go on them um, to send them on their way down the beach. Um, so I'm going to crack on with that. Um, hopefully by the time I finish that, David will be back with my chicken burger and then we're going to head down the beach to, um, to sort of lay them out. You can come with us to do that if you want.
and I'm back from going to collect the leftovers and I am pleased to tell you that there were none left. Every single book had gone, which is amazing and I never thought it would go. It made me feel really, really happy. I was a bit concerned. A couple of, so there's quite a lot of the, the beach where I left the um, where I left the books. There's quite a lot of um, memorial benches down there. You can um, you can put benches in um, people's names, people who love the beach. Um, my nan being one of them. We've got a bench um, to uh, what do you even call it? To, uh, to, to in memoriam of my nan. Yeah, I guess that's what it is. And I put a book um, on that bench. And I also put a book on a bench which didn't have any plaques on it or anything. And I was a bit concerned because I thought, oh, people might think, like quite a lot of people put flowers and letters and things like that. And I thought, oh, maybe people will think that that's in relation to um, who the bench is for. But both of those had gone. There was one that was like really tucked away at one end and that went as well. And yeah, just absolutely delighted that they all went. Now I've had a few messages on Instagram. Someone um, messaged, to, someone commented on my post to say that they'd seen a book um, and then they'd left it there for somebody else to pick up. Somebody messaged to tell me they've picked it up um, and um, uh, they told me it was the one with the forest on the front. So I think that's the Harkonessa one. Um, and yeah, so I'm just gonna see if anyone else gets in touch. Um, as I said, uh, I said on my Instagram story, David and I saw um, a young lad pick up, like he was really little, um, pick up the uh, the one about money, the power of money, um, and we saw him pick it up like as we were walking up towards him and he was really delighted to find a book, um, and then when we came back that way, he was still there, um, and his dad sort of gave it to him and went, there you are then, there's your book, and he was walking off with it all smug, so whether or not that one gets read, I'm not sure, but he was very, very pleased to have it, so yeah, all ten books went, which is just amazing. Um, so yeah, really, really thrilled that that happened. Um, this is probably something I will do again. I don't know if I'll do it in the same area, um, but yeah, maybe potentially when I'm away or in other places, I will uh, will do this because um, it's a really nice way to get rid of books because it just feels really nice. It just felt like a really nice thing to do. Um, so yeah, so really, really thrilled with how it went. Um, I hope you enjoyed the sort of video <laughs> of me putting them everywhere. Um, and yeah, all 10 weeks, so wonderful news. That's it from me, um, and yeah, I'll see you all again soon for another Book Tree video. Goodbye!